Hi, well, hi there, viewers. Welcome to Plus 3 Racing Flows. I'm William. And on today's episode, I'm going to do a compressor test. In the previous video, you saw we did a, a test drive, and after that, oil came out of the engine. The oil was absolutely nasty. So, uh, maybe there's something wrong. Probably there's something wrong, but we'll have to figure out what. We'll start with a compression test. Hey, as it's too long, I'll wait for a minute. Twee vijftien? Vijftien bar. Oh, dat is goed. <laughs> hey, wacht even, gek! Ik ben helemaal niet klaar. Ja. Net iets minder. Ja. Hmm. Jo. Nog eens. Kom maar. Nou, daar zit je probleem. Hmm. Dat is uh, no good. Nummer 3? Eh, uh, ja. Hoeveel? Hoeveel? 75? 4 bar. <laughs> ja, dat was wel erger dan die van mij. Maar was gisteren 6. Wat verdomme. So yeah, the compression test didn't go so well. Cylinder 3 had very, very low compression, so we think that's the issue. I think that the liner, the cylinder liner has dropped, the, 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 the seal has been go, is gone, so uh, that's why it doesn't give any compression. And that's probably also the reason why it leaks water into the oil. So we have to pull the engine apart again. Oh man, I really don't want to do that. but. We've got all the seals, all the new stuff on the way. So I'm just going to pull it, pull it back, uh, pull it back. Going to rip it apart again. I'm not going to show you everything because you've just seen the cylinder head removal, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to, I might not even going to show that, but you'll see. So I'll pull the intake. It's on the table. And uh, I'm now going to uh, pull off the timing belt. And some of the, the cooling lines. And after that, valve cover, and then I'm going to pull the head. Okay, I got the, the cooling hoses and all that stuff off. Now I've got the timing belt off. I've got no, the engine set on top dead center. Did that with a, with a stick in it. And it's uh, now time. Pull the head off. First the valve cover and then the 10 bolt. Here we go. Oh yeah, and I also disconnected the, the exhaust, which will be handy. Look how oily everything is, that's terrible. And also a, a tip, if you have an engine that is on an angle like this one, I removed the roll stop amount on the, on the back of the engine over here, that one, and I pulled ratchet strap uh, under it so it's the angle is a little bit less this i pulled it a little bit more to like this it's still angled but way less than it was before so it made it a little bit easier to work on so yeah but it over the over the oil filter that one's also loose i'm going to replace it again so yeah let's see oh yeah maybe i can tighten it a little bit more actually but yeah now uh, it's time to continue uh, pulling that off so now I've got everything disconnected, the head is already loose, but it's a bit too heavy, so I'm waiting for a friend to turn up uh, to help me lift it out. And uh, yeah, let's go do that right now. Ta-da! The head's off. It's on top dead center. Clean it up a bit, but uh, it, it still looks pretty good. I'm going to clean it up even more when I got all this stuff out. So what I'm going to do now is pull the oil pan off so I can uh, pull the pistons out. 
And I do gonna film that because I have never done that before. So this is gonna be very interesting. Yay. There the oil pan is off. It's actually cleaner than I, than I expected it. It's pretty nice. An extra flap so the oil doesn't slush side to side as much. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. I thought the, the previous owner told me it, it, it was it, it went in. But uh, I'll clean it up later. Now we're going to continue uh, pulling the pistons. Yay, the oil pan is off. So let's take a look. There's the chain uh, from the oil pickup, the oil pump right over here. All looks in very good condition. A little bit of old sealant. And here we have the pistons. This is piston uh, one, two, three. Oh, and four is actually behind the oil pump. So we have to remove that. Well, that won't be a problem, I think. That's just, let's see, one, two, three bolts. Really, just three? Yeah, it appears so to be just three bolts. After that, I have to take those two bolts out of each, uh, each piston. And I just pull it out, all two up, and I'm gonna grab, I have to stand up, lay down, stand up, lay down all the time. That's pretty annoying, but you know, what you're gonna do. And uh, that's uh, the process we're going to do. It's going to take about 45 minutes, I guess. Won't be that hard. So uh, wish me luck. I've never done this before. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So here we go.
So there you go. They have got the three caps of the not well, caps. What do you call the caps? Well, the caps from the, the piston rods. The fourth one is already on the table. So uh, yeah. Not I see there's the fourth one. Of the first one actually this is still a one, two, three and four. So it's now to pull them out. So with this uh, all pulled off and pulled out, well, uh, you could just take out uh, the, the cylinder line. This, I already did, already did this three, because to check it out how easy it would be, and it's very easy, and I was like, I totally forgot about it that uh, the camera was broken. So I'm gonna show you with the last one. It's very easy. Once you got the caps of the, the, the piston rods off, the corn rods or whatever they're called, all you have to do is just give it a little bit of a wiggle because they're just clamped in by the head and the, the gasket, that's it. And the 10 bolts, of course. All you gotta do is give it a, bit, a little bit of wiggle. See, here, you see that? And you just pull it out carefully. Yeah, check it out. There it is. In a wall. So here we have the table where all the parts are laid out. The head, the liners, these are all, those were things that probably failed. Can't see it, but oh, they look perfectly fine, but apparently they're not. In the past this engine did have some work though, because you see all the piston rings are all, well, fairly new. Pistons look very good, corner rods look very good. But one thing did notice, look at those, yes, the bearings are absolutely thrashed. So I'm thinking the company or the guy that uh, rebuilt this engine was like doing it on a budget for some guy, was like, you know, uh, just don't do the bearings and stuff like that, just the, you know, the pistons and stuff, because the head's also been worked on, well you can't see that, but that's been done. So I'm really, uh, you know, surprised by this. At the same time, I'm not so surprised, but such a shame. Luckily, I have an extra set lying around from my previous engine, which I never got to install. So yeah, so I'll be installing those later on. So that was it for this episode. Uh, hope you guys like it. I certainly did. I uh, didn't really want to do it, but pulling out the pistons and the liners was something I've never done before, and I really enjoyed it. It's actually not that hard on this engine. I don't know how it is in different engines, but it was quite a joy to do so, and I learned a lot today. So, um, like a f and the battery died. So I'm just gonna continue it here in uh, in my house. So yeah, like and subscribe if you like the videos, and, and check me out on Facebook at facebook.com/slash-plus-three-racing. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Later.